Welcome back, you dingoes. I'll be honest, I am fired up for this week, mainly because it's about to be a battle of the winless teams. I'm not sure if JT Martinez is still injured or not, because it said he's probable for like the past three weeks. I mean, it says he has broken ribs, but he came in last week and caught a touchdown pass, so I really don't know what to think about it. We are so close to getting John Evans. I swear, if Kalispell or Washington State sneaks up and gets him this week, I'm gonna be furious. Same thing with Jesse Bird, where it's like, the very end of the race. Jason Mason. I'm thinking this guy's gonna be a gym. 80 man coverage, 80 zone coverage. Man, I don't care if he can't tackle. I don't care if he's not fast. I want this guy on the team. Oh, we might have a gym. Chris Richard, three-star defensive end. We could use a boost on the defensive line. Heck, why don't we put him at linebacker? Look at that tackle and hit power. Dude, 6'7", that would be an amazing linebacker. Holy crap. Utah State has a 96 overall running back with 98 speed, 99 acceleration. How in the world are we going to stop that? I think I've decided. I'm going to go with Antoine Goodwin in this one. He's just got the hot streak going. Gonna wear the all white uniforms in this one. Just feel like it's good luck. I'm feeling lucky in this game. Utah State is dead last in rush defense and we are terrible at rushing the football. So maybe we can boost up that 27 rushing yards per game that we currently have. Battle of the winless teams. There is nobody here to watch this football game. We are here in the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Once again, Alamo Dome, not the Adama Dome. It's easy to confuse them, I know, but one of them is great and one of them is old and kind of raggedy. Why are we randomly playing in San Antonio between a Utah team and a California team? I don't know, man. Just take what you have in front of you. Our players are thrilled. We're not dying out in the desert. Lead the rushing attack. If you can even call it a rushing attack, because we're losing a yard. Oh, Jamie James sheds one off. Wow. Jamie James looking swole. We got triangle. That's way off the mark. We got the square. Dick Boulder. That's a first down. Told you I, I'm feeling lucky. We got to win a football game at some point, and we're not going to do it by punting the football. Not with this team. In fact, we're going to turn on conservative clock real early, mainly because our guys get tired after every single play. Take off, Antoine. Okay, shut off one. Keeper, Antoine. Okay, we made the right call there. It only gets us one yard. We got the tight end. Oh, he dropped it. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. Get rid of it. No, we're going to get sacked. Well. I got a little aggressive. Please tackle him. Oh, we didn't. Actually, we finally did. First and goal. To the back. We hit him, but he's unaffected. Touchdown, Utah State. Only took him two plays, but they're already on the board. And I'm sure they're going to be on the board quite a bit today. Oh, wow. Had to play a little defense with the receiver right there. Uh, can he make that throw? Holy! Oh, and of course, Seth McKenna would drop it. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me, man. I'm going to have an aneurysm over here. <laughs> what the heck was that tackle? Just blew some wind on him and knocked him over. Oh no. Oh no, not like this. This guy is so fast. How are we going to stop him? Can we stop him? Is there even a point? It's an option play. Yes, we hurt the quarterback. I mean, I'm sure they have good replacements, but still. Oh, how is that guy wide open? You've got to be kidding me, guys. Like, I know we're terrible at coverage, but everyone just turned around. Take off, Goodwin, throw that out. Is that a late hit, ref? Can we get something? Hmm, nearly picked off. Oh, this offense is something else. Again, freaking backup quarterbacks flying. Wow, I guarantee you that guy's not even that fast. They're just making it look so easy. Utah State is making it look so easy. That's how bad we are. Is there any hope for the dingoes this season? Will we win a single game? Go, Jamie. Whoa! Got the animation for the first. 
Caper for the quarterback. We got some blocks. That's almost a first down. Nice. Two first downs and three plays. Have we finally worn them down? Is the read option the play that the Dingoes can actually run? Oh, what a block on the inside. I don't know who that was, but that was amazing. Jamie James. He's looking pretty strong in the backfield, so I'm going to keep feeding him. I'm actually going to go with the fullback here on this option play with D.D. Rogers. Antoine. Yes, he's going to get the first. So finally, we're actually doing something on the ground. Oh, he put the spin move. Give him the green light. Pretty sure I forced that pitch, but it still got us a first down. So no complaints. He completes it. Cuts back. Jamie James, what a move. Okay, he's not open on the corner. He's open. Brady Miller touchdown, Dingoes. Now we just need the defense to not be trash. We're alive. We've got the spirit. Yes, we got a sack. Damatamo, I feel it. Can you feel that momentum? We just got to wait for them to make bad decisions. It's a screen pass. Come on, Brylin, down dive. No. Jesse Shelton stops him. To the corner. Wait, he's out of bounds. Yes. Wait, they're going to review it. Please don't overturn this. Don't do it to me, ref. Give the underdogs a chance. They're going to reverse it and give them the touchdown. That's it. We're fighting, ref. They don't want the dingoes to win. Get rid of that. Jamie James spinning. Of course I'm going to get sacked. They're going to call their timeout. No, we hit him. I mean, they still got nine seconds, but I, I like that play. Pressuring the quarterback. That's got to be pass interference. I was all over him. No, no call. Never mind. It was clean. He's going to miss it left. We got one second to try and score. Just launch it. Overthrew him. He's got 18 total passing yards on the game. We're going to go into the locker rooms down by three touchdowns. But I felt a little spark there closer to the end. Obviously, we still have a lot of things to fix. And I don't really know how to fix them, especially on the defensive side of the ball, but we have a sliver of hope. He's going to pitch it. Now we're going to actually tackle him. Third down, we all know how difficult it is to stop the computer on these. Cross the middle, we stop him. The opening drive of the second half, the defense steps up. Pinned us down at our own 14, but hey, we got the ball back. Defense actually got to stop. And Jamie James is picking up five yards on the ground. Push him over. First down, Jamie James. Why haven't we played this guy all season long? He's averaging six yards a carry. <laughs> Accidentally tried to juke into my offensive lineman. That didn't work. The slant. Go, McKenna. Where is his speed coming from? With a spin move. I thought he was going to break that one all the way. Brady Miller, did he catch it in bounds? What is this flag? Pass interference on the offense. He's not even close to the football. That's idiotic. Go, Dick Boulder. 1v2. Off the tip. Nope, not this time. Worth a try, I guess. Oh, no. I'm glad that's not a fumble. 5 for 15. Passing attack has been butt. Third down and 20. I guess it's time to do a four verticals and just hope for the best. JT Martinez is back out of here with his broken ribs. You madman. On the run to the sidelines. Dang it, Jacob. You had to get a pass interference. I would hit off of him. Dang it. Why did we... Jeremy, Jimmy, pay attention. We could have got a turnover. It binked old boy in the mouth. I 
I was terrified he was going to score on that play. And that's why I was speechless the entire play. <laughs> they are just bullying us on every single possession. Dickens? Oh, that should have been my pick. Come on, NCAA. Give that one to me. Can we sack him? Another fourth down. Improvement on the defense. Field goal. That was a beautiful kick. It was right down Main Street the whole way. Oh, he fumbled it. Go, Anderson. A fumble turned into a four-yard gain. May not be how we drew it up, but I'll, I will accept. I can outrun him. Slide down. Nice. Third and one. Power your way through the middle. This one's going to Chris Shaivitz. He's not strong enough. we got to go for it. I'm not giving up yet on this game. Take off, Antoine. This should be a first. Yes, it is. Oh, Antoine scrambles. I'll take him. We got Dick Boulder. And of course, we overthrew him. Our boy was open. Five of 18. Come on. We got that tied in. Oh, my goodness. How? He is so open. It just pains me. Slants open. Touchdown. And here is me thinking we had all the momentum coming out of halftime. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> we had a setup play and I didn't even have time to throw it away because our O-line just doesn't pay attention. They're just idiots. All of them. Nincompoops. Triangle. Jacob Hill. Yes, we moved the ball. Finally, it's been so long since we've had a good play. Screen pass gets it off cleanly. Mow this guy down. Oh! I said mow him down, not get yourself mowed down. Yikes, that looked painful. Tight end. Oh, I'm going to have an aneurysm. If we can't complete the simple open passes, my head will explode. The slant. We completed it. All right, I can relax a little bit. We got a new set of downs. I don't have to kill anybody just yet. Drag route. Oh, my Lord. Antoine. Son, it's textbook drag routes. If it's a throwing down, I am taking you out. You just can't make the throws. It's just not possible. But you can definitely run. He can definitely run. Holy crap. We'll keep him in for those read option plays for sure. That was an explosion. Like maybe this is that tag team of quarterbacks that everybody was waiting on. Brady Miller catches it after getting smacked. But yes, the setup play works. X, Brady Miller in for his second touchdown of the day. Something about these late game drives that we just start to put it together. Oh no. Oh, he's mowing everybody down. Even D.D. Rogers, one of our best tacklers. I, I knew he was going to go there. My guys are just too slow to get in position. Because I want to make the plays. You just can't with this slow pokes. Dang it. I mean, I knew we weren't going to win. So at this point, I don't really care what we do on defense. I'm just trying to get more offensive reps. We got X open. Diving catch Jacob Hill. He finally learned his lesson after playing with Antoine Goodwin. Michael Wilson may have a weak arm, but he definitely almost overthrew him there. Okay, go Davis. Yes. Oh God, get rid of that. Was I out of the tackle box? I certainly hope so. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Why didn't he pick that one off? What an idiot. Well, he completes it, but we're gonna be short. Do we let the kicker get some reps? Tight in. Miller. He's had a big day. To the end zone. Dick Boulder went up for it and could not get there. See if he can make this one. Oh, he barely got that one. Still perfect on the ear. Oh, no. He's gone. Not like this. 
Why didn't you guys just kneel the ball? That's so rude. Just embarrassing us some more. Final score of this one, 52 to 17. Going into this game, I legitimately thought we had some, some sort of chance, but now that it's quickly faded. Even Utah State, which is a terrible football team, that's 0-5, now 1-5 after they beat us. We're 0-5. Oh, but everything hurts. That's all I gotta say. FCS next week. The game of the year. The only game we really have a chance in. Stats on the game. Antoine Goodwin had 29% completion percentage. 8 of 27, 91 yards, 1 touchdown. Michael Wilson came in later. 6 of 13, 71 yards, 1 touchdown. I guess we're going to have to do a split quarterback situation. Goodwin, 69 rushing yards today. Nice. Jamie James also got 51 yards, so I think I'm going to start him at running back from now on. Jacob Hill led us in receiving yards with 62, but Brady Miller had two receiving touchdowns in this game. Very proud of that. Timothy Dickens led us in tackles with six. Two of those were for loss. We had two sacks today. Going to the main man, Damatamo. This headline is the most rude I've ever seen. Anyone care? The game not to watch this week is Death Valley State against FCS Northwest. I disagree, headline. Next week is going to be the game of the season. I have basically every single recruit scheduled to visit next week. It is mind-boggling. It is a all-or-nothing game. And sadly, JT Martinez is still listed as injured. Believe it or not, FCS Northwest is actually rated higher than we are. My goodness, this is the game of the freaking season. Place your bets. Kirk Herbstreet thinks we can get it done. Do you think we can get it done? Do I think I can get it done? I don't really know, but we're going to have to find out next week. But anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all led into my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters Logan Pogue, Adrian Felix, Cameron Tipton, Dean Young, Matthew Paul, Niall Patterson, Christian Herzner, and Josh Castor. 